To install Lightmatica, you need to go to four different websites and all of the links for those websites are in the description below and you need to go through them in the order that I go through them. So fabricmc.net slash use slash installer and you want to bring your cursor down to here and click download universal jar. So click download universal jar and you'll see that the download has gone into the download bar down here. So what you want to do is click on the download and this little dialog box will come up and all you need to do is select the version that you want to install it for so for me the most recent version of Minecraft is 1.18.2 so that's what I'm going to select and then just bring your cursor down to here and click install and if you already have your Minecraft launcher open you're going to need to close it so I'm going to come down here close the Minecraft launcher and then click yes fabric loader has successfully been installed so now click OK and now if you come down to your search bar and choose the Minecraft launcher and open it up you should see that you can now select Fabric Loader so Fabric Loader 1.18.2 now click play run the game and everything should run OK if it doesn't that is OK just stick with me and I will show you how to fix it but once you have run the game for the first time with the Fabric Loader we can basically close everything so next we need to go to the second website which is Fabric API. So we're at curseforge.com slash minecraft slash mcmod slash fabric API. You need to come down to where it says files, click files and then just scroll a little bit down and we want to install the most recent version of the Fabric API which is this one right here. So I'm just going to come here and click download. So you need to wait for five seconds. And you can see that the Fabric API has downloaded and is in my download bar. We're not going to click this. What we're going to do now is go to the third website that I've put in the description, which is for downloading Malalib. So this is the page for Malalib, which looks almost identical to the Fabric API page. And you need to do the same thing. So you come down to where it says description and files and issues. You need to click on files. And when you've clicked on files scroll down a little bit and you'll see that the most recent version again is just here so all you do is click download then wait for five seconds and you should see that the download will also end up in your downloads bar once again you do not need to open this yet now you need to go to the fourth website link that i've put in the description which is for downloading lightmatica itself and once again it looks almost identical to the previous two pages but it says lightmatica here so once again you need to click files, scroll down a little bit and you'll see that the most recent version of Lightmatica is just here. So I'm going to click download. So wait for five seconds once again. And there we go, Lightmatica fabric is now in the download bar. Now we're at the final leg of the journey. So what you want to do is go down to your search bar here and type in percent app data percent and then hit enter. And you'll see that there is a folder called dot minecraft so double click that folder and if you experienced a game crash before that will be because you already have a pre-existing mods folder that has incompatible mods located inside them so you need to remove all pre-existing mods or any folders that say mods but if you do not have a folder that says mods do not worry all you need to do is just right click go down to new go to folder and now name this folder mods, all lowercase. So you now have an empty mods folder. If you double click the empty mods folder, this is where we're going to be putting those three things that we downloaded. So if you come down to your web browser, so first of all, we have like Matic of Fabric. We're going to click and drag and drop that into the mods folder. And same again, go back to the web browser do it for the second file so drag and drop it into the mods folder and then once again come down to the browser and do the same for the third file and drop it into the mods folder and now we are done now if you open the minecraft launcher give it a second to do its thing make sure you have fabric loader 1.18.2 or whatever the version is that you downloaded and click play and if everything worked correctly, you should see the Mojang bright red screen pop up in front of your face. Hooray, there it is. 
And if you look down in this corner, you will see Minecraft 1.18.2 slash fabric modded. That means you have successfully installed Lightmatica. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to know how to use Lightmatica, please go to the other video that I've left down in the description, and I'll also put the link up on screen. But I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial. So, cheers and bye-bye.